Welcome back to another construct video and in this video we are looking at gravity and jumping inside a 3D game. Now before you watch this video make sure you've watched my other video on how to create a simple first person controller as this will be an expansion on top of that. So let's get started. First we need to handle is 3D collision. Now all our 3D objects have the solid behavior but this only works in a 2D space. So what is essentially checking for is if the player is overlapping the object at all. Whether this object is higher than our player in our 3D world or lower than our player being maybe ground, the solid behavior is still going to stick on. So we need to fix this first. So on our event sheets, we're gonna start by adding a new comment. And this is gonna be block collision. We're gonna add a new event, do a system and every tick. We're then gonna take our block, set enabled and disable the collision. We're only going to enable it if it meets some requirements. So what are the requirements? The first one is going to be block compare Z elevation. I'm going to check if it is greater than the player Z elevation minus self being this particular instance of this block dot z height make sure you are getting z height and not height as this will break your code and then plus one which is going to be our buffer next we're going to add a second condition onto this back to our block back to compare z elevation and for this one we're going to check if it's less than player dot z elevation plus the player's height and if this is the case we're now going to take our block and we're going to enable its collision and this just means that we're only adding the solid behavior now if it's on the same plane as us. Next, we're going to add gravity. Now for gravity, we need two new variables. So the first one is going to be called DZ. Can we set to zero? Now this is going to control how fast we're moving in the Z axis, and this will get faster the more we're falling. Second, I'm going to add a global variable. I'm going to call this gravity. And I'm going to set this to 3.5. And it's something I could adjust later to fit how I want my game to feel. We're then going to add a brand new comment, and this is going to be called gravity. And I'm going to add a new event underneath this. First one is I'm going to compare a variable. I want dz, and I want to see if it is less than zero. I also want to check if my player is overlapping another object, being our block. And then we're going to add another condition. We want to check our block's position and how it is relative to us. So block compare z elevation. So first one, we're going to check if it is greater than or equal to player dot z elevation minus self dot z height. And do this once more. Add another condition, block, compare z elevation, and this one is going to be less than or equal to and player dot z elevation plus we want the player's height minus the height of the object and make sure you've got z height now we've got that set up we're going to take our system we're going to set the value of dz back to zero because this means we're now on a solid object take our player set z elevation and z elevation is going to be block dot z elevation we want the height of that block as well, so we'll put on the top of the block. So Z height. Now at this stage, we're actually going to introduce a new global variable. So let's add a new global variable. And we're going to call this one on ground. And this is going to be a Boolean. We're going to have it off by default. So we know that at this stage, we're standing on top of an object. So we're just going to add a system check. We set that Boolean now to true. And now we have a way to track if the player is on the ground. On the flip of this, we need to now add an else statement. And we're just going to say that this is now false. This is going to be useful when we look at stuff like jumping later in the video. So now we've got our collision set up so we can now check if we're at the side of an object or above or below it. We can now actually add the actual part of gravity that we need. So we're going to add a new event. Every tick, we're going to subtract from our dz variable and this is going to be by gravity 
times dt. We're then going to take our player and set z elevation to player's current z elevation plus this dz, which is going to be a minus number. So we're, we're falling now at this stage. Now with this one here, we're actually going to move it to the top of our gravity. And now we've got gravity set up. Let's test it. And we start falling. So at this stage, it'll be a good idea to add some grounding. So I'm going to take my block. I'm going to start by changing the z height to 15. And I also want to change the z elevation to minus 15. I can now expand this out to fill the rest of the screen. So we can play it once more. And now I can move around the level. I still get stuck on these objects like before. And if I walk off the level, I'm now falling. Final thing we need to add then is jump. So we'll go to our bench sheet. We'll start by adding a new global variable. And this is going to be called jump strength. I'm going to start with 1.5 as our jump strength. But again, we can adjust this if this jump is too low. I'm then going to add a new comment called jumping. And then I can start with my code. So we're going to check our keyboard. And we want to check on key pressed. And I'm going to use the spacebar. We also need another check to check if the player is on the ground, which we can do by going to system, is boolean set on ground. This means they can't spam it and fly through the air. They also can't do it if they're falling. And what we're going to do is then take our system. We're going to set the value of dz to jump strength. And dz controls our gravity, so normally we're falling. This is going to put it into a positive, which will raise us up. And before we test this, we should create a little jumping level for us to do. And so I'm just going to grab some blocks. I'm going to set these to around about 20. And I'm going to set up a little platform. So it's first one 20, next one 40, and a final one over here I'm going to set to 60. Now if we run this level, you'll see that I've got my blocks here. I can hit space, I'm jumping. And now I can use this to jump between these different platforms. And I can even fall in between these gaps and fall back down. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you can now add this into your own 3D game. If you're liking this series and want to see more 3D content, please subscribe, like the video and comment your ideas below.